70 in New Orleans, south southeast winds up to about 15 miles per hour for a lot of us almost completely perfect weather for today. So I do hope you enjoy it. And we do have a pretty long string of this sort of similar weather, although we do have some subtle changes coming tomorrow. Temperatures right now lower 70s and here are those winds and note of course they're coming now more from the south that's making it a little more humid bringing our temperature up gradually a little bit more today and we're seeing some gusts up to about 20 plus miles per hour and here is that warmer air that has surged in with some clouds off to the north and maybe a couple clouds today but overall again just almost perfect i have about 74 75 for the high there are those winds and a little bit gustier than that and then this evening and tonight we will see our winds still up a touch at least from the south maybe up to about 10 maybe even 12 miles per hour so it won't be as cold our temperatures will be north and south in the 50s for lows there's fog possible, but we're not actually seeing a whole lot showing up right now as far as our models go. Not to be completely ruled out, but with a little bit more wind and with some cloud cover and our temperatures not falling as far, these things might set us up for a less foggy situation, I think, tomorrow morning compared to that pretty impressive fog we saw early this morning. Moving through precision cast as you make your plans tonight, 7 p.m. We're just in the lower 60s. This is overnight again, seeing some of those clouds starting to move in, which would cut down on our fog potential. I think early tomorrow, 7 a.m. Temperatures in the 50s, so not as chilly. And then tomorrow, this is noon. We'll already by this point be in the middle 70s for most spots. Probably seeing partly cloudy skies, some breaks with sun and blue sky, and then some cloudier spells. And we do have a slight chance for rain, but look at this all the way through the day. Models don't really have a whole lot. This would be by 3 p.m. By the evening, we may see a few isolated showers, only about a 10, 20 percent chance and temperatures in the 60s. And this will be as our next cool front arrives. Looking in the upper pattern really quickly, here is our uh, ridge of high pressure warming us up right now. Then we see this dip here that's going to be driving in that weak uh, kind of slight cool down that weak front for Friday and the weekend. And then look what happens next week. That trough moves away from us. We start to see the ridging again, and that's going to be warming us up again. And next week we're talking more about around 80 degrees as opposed to 70s like we're seeing this week. But with that cool down for the weekend, look at this almost perfect. I think it's going to be extremely lovely this weekend. 40s to about 50 for lows north and south of Lake Pontchartrain. High Saturday 72 again, almost ideal Sunday 50s and upper 40s north of the lake 50 or so south and highs about 74. I wanted to update you on something really quickly. Last year we've updated you. The National Weather Service is moving the radar site from Slidell, where it's been for many years, and they're now moving it to Hammond. And uh, someone on Facebook sent me this picture of it. So they are actually uh, dismantling it and now moving the equipment. You can see the ray dome here in Hammond, and that's the, of course, dome that protects the radar equipment. Just a quick update on all this. It is being moved from Slidell to Hammond and obviously happening now. Of course, the radar sends out radio waves that bounce against either rain or hail or snow or sometimes even non weather things like birds or insects and sends back the signal. So that's how it works. Of course, now what we're going to see with the new site is a different location and also a lower scan. So those radar beams will go lower in a storm. So that will mean some better coverage and more information, better coverage, especially toward Baton Rouge, since it will be closer now. But similar coverage is expected for New Orleans and the rest of the area, including Slide Allen spots like that. It won't change very much and they're planning right now to have it done in March. So just wanted to get you a little update on that. Seven day forecast is showing those temperatures really nice, really lovely all the way into the weekend. And then early next week, we're jumping into the upper 70s or even 80 by Tuesday. Alexandra,